I'm Mike with List 25. And I'm Tristan with List 25. And here are 25 plot details that get in the way of a good movie. Tristan, what's your least favorite movie of all time? Easily Charlotte's Web 2. Yes, it exists, and yes, it is awful. Mine is any horror movie. Why? They're scary. Twenty-five. Empty cups. Who drinks air? This should be one of the easiest things to make believable. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. I can always tell when a cup is empty. You'd really enjoy Quentin Tarantino movies. But I don't. Twenty-four. Meme references. The worst part is that memes are here today and gone tomorrow. People won't even get the reference in two years. Did you know that cake is a lie? 23. Attractive, ugly characters. And then everybody makes fun of the attractive, ugly character for how ugly they are. 22. Swords being removed from leather sheaths. How do they still make that shing sound? Video editing. Oh, well, there you go. 21. Deus Ex Machina. This is when seemingly unsolvable problems are all of a sudden solved by some out of the blue plot twist. Bond gadgets are a perfect example of this. Those things are used once and then never again. Eagles! 20. Terrible accents. Why is it that British is the default European accent? Why is British the default accent at all? And now I'm a little Australian. From futuristic space sagas to Roman gladiatorial dramas, it's British accents all around. Got really Australian <laughs> into that, sorry. 19. 35 year old high school kids. This counts for both the 10 year old that quotes Shakespeare, as well as the 35 year old that was cast as a 10 year old. 18. Noises in space. It's a vacuum. How on earth would you hear anything? You wouldn't, because that's right, you're not on earth. Attack of the Clones did it right with Django Fett's seismic charges. And that's the only thing they did right. Mm. 17. Plot armor. Also known as character shields, this is when the main character just won't die because they're too important to the story. 16. Retired specialists. Why are these guys always the hero? 15. Not saying bye on the phone. Thanks to Hollywood, about 90% of the world thinks that Americans just hang up on each other. Hello? Hi. 14. Unlimited ammo. Well, they do reload, but only when it's convenient to the plot. 13. Unnecessary accents. Related to the terrible accents we've already discussed is the unnecessary accent. Why on earth would a movie set in Germany have native German speakers talking in English with German accents? Makes no sense. You're right there. Nine! Twelve. Heroes not finishing the bad guy. And then the bad guy rolls over and shoots the hero so the hero runs around and finishes him off anyway. Really? Why not just do it right away? This is probably the main reason the ending of Taken was so good. Oh. Spoiler alert. Eleven. Bad guys who don't just kill the good guys. So we've cornered our nemesis and now it's time for... A speech? As soon as this happens, you know the good guy is gonna make it. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Great scene, though. Great movie. 10. Banging on computers. No, hacking is not just typing really fast. What you typing there? No, oh, well, you're getting a jar jar. 9. 555 telephone numbers. Especially when the character says it out loud. 8. The Wilhelm scream. You since 1951, it's time to retire the soundbite. Unless it's in Star Wars. Seven, product placement. Even the best scenes can become cringeworthy. Six, not eating. So the characters sit down, order food, and right when it shows up, they leave. Every time. Five. Flawless post-apocalyptic wastelands. And the main character's hair. 
Does he use gel? I use paste. Four. Rearview mirror conversations. Hollywood drivers seem to be able to stare at the backseat passengers for several minutes in the rearview mirror without crashing. What you doing there? <clears throat> Three. I didn't sign up for this. Or I'm getting too old for this. I have a bad feeling about this. Or we've got company. Clichés are just not a good look in any movie that wants to take itself seriously. Two, poorly executed sports scenes. When it looks like the actor has never swung a bat in his or her life, or the director relies on camera angles to obscure the lack of talent, it can get painful pretty quickly. In fact, possibly the worst scene in movie history went down this route. I'm looking at you, Catwoman basketball scene. I hate sports scene. One. Forever countdowns. Although the clock only has three seconds left on it, you can expect those three seconds to be an action-packed minute. What's your least favorite movie of all time, and why? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.